and also across large parts of Europe where there is some more snow in the forecast. As far as snow is concerned in the UK, I don't think there's going to be too much of that as we head into the beginning of December. We are going to stay cold though. A lot of the time it will be dry with some sunshine, but there'll be frost at night. Today at one, a breakthrough in the attempt to rescue 41 construction workers who've been trapped in a collapsed tunnel in northern India for more than a fortnight. Rescue teams have now managed to push an evacuation pipe through the rubble and are hoping to pull out the trapped men one by one. Our correspondent is at the scene. I am just 100 meters away from the mouth of the tunnel where everyone here is eagerly waiting for those first men to come out of the tunnel. And also on the program this lunchtime, the boss of Wilco apologizes after 12,000 people lost their jobs when the retailer collapsed. An escalating row between Britain and Greece over the Parthenon sculptures or Elgin marbles. The Greek Prime Minister is said to be surprised and annoyed. Rishi Sunak cancelled a meeting with him. The inquest opens today into the death of primary school head Ruth Perry. Her family say she took her own life while waiting for an Ofsted report. If there are lessons that can be learnt so that no head teacher has to go through what Ruth went through, then that would be a positive outcome. And tiny fragments from a four and a half billion year old asteroid arrive in the UK for analysis. Could they yield secrets about the origins of life on Earth? And coming up on BBC News, another VR controversy as Wolves manager Gary O'Neill says bad refereeing is affecting livelihoods and reputations after their defeat at Fulham. Hello, good afternoon. Rescue workers in northern India have finally managed to reach 41 men who have been trapped in a collapsed road tunnel for more than two weeks. A pipe has been pushed through the rubble to bring the men out one by one on wheeled stretchers. Well, relatives are gathered near the tunnel entrance waiting to be reunited with their loved ones. Our South Asia correspondent, Samira Hussein, is at the scene. 